50 inch plasma. <laughs> Bad solder joints. Like I was saying, bad solder joints. I did replace a couple of sus looking caps, but they weren't really anywhere near the problem. Uh, there's a couple of transistors on the main board. Uh, well, power supply, I should say. Um, those two there, heavily dry jointed, like disjointed. So, yeah, that 22 microfarad 450 volt yellow thing Looks like it's got a bit warm, but I don't think that'll be the problem. But the caps in this thing are shit. They are really cheap, nasty caps. So I'm gonna order a set of caps anyway and replace them, because these do do caps. But yeah, this thing powered straight up after I did that. And uh, yeah, it's nice and warm. It's all running fine. No complaints from the X and Y sustain boards. What caps do they have on them there? A, uh, Oh, can't tell. Samwa or something like that. They're all cheapo Korean caps, but either way, not too bad. I'm only running through standard component AV, through these giant long AV leads, so the picture quality sucks. But with a DVI adapter, I think it should work well as a computer monitor. I just got to get rid of this damn smoke smell, clean all this sticky residue off it I washed the, the um, I washed the power supply board in Carby or not Carby cleaner a PCB cleaner and that came out nice and I've sort of wiped the whole back of the panel and these plastic support rails and things which I must add are missing screws from the factory none of these have screws in them um, I don't know whether that's intentional or not but I might end up putting some screws in there just to hold them to the panel uh, the other boards well I'm just going to wipe everything down as much as I can. Maybe take the front fascia off if it's not too hard. Although I think this mount and everything's key to it, so... Yeah, I'll just wipe everything down as best I can and hope the smell dissipates because this is one kick-ass display monitor. Be fun playing video games on this. I'm just watching some uh, Monster Garage. It is copyright material, but I'm using it for the purpose of demonstration. Yeah. Not a bad not, not not a bad television. I found this at the scrapyard. Works fine. It's a slightly earlier version of what I've got at the moment in my bedroom. Uh, funny thing was that very morning I went out and bought a brand new one because I couldn't find any good working ones. Go figure. But it's only thirty dollars, so you can't complain about that. And you don't get much for thirty bucks, but hey, I don't really care. But as the law of averages says, or well, you know how it goes. You go buy something, next day something will show up for free. Which in this case, I bought I bought a new DVD player in the morning, and then that showed up, which is working fine. So, oh well. Time to uh, get on with some more important projects now that that's done. But I will I will fully recap that power supply because they are notorious for shitting their capacitors. They just are. <laughs>